Hey Terp Nation, I'm Claudia Pagan with today's Game Day Preview. Well, Maryland is preparing for a four-game stretch over the next eight days, immediately followed by a trip to the Barclays Classic Tournament. As part of a second annual Gavit Tip-Off Games, which matches up the Big East and Big Ten conferences, Maryland will be facing off against Georgetown today at 6.30 p.m. They're, they're as good as you know, any team I've seen. They're very talented, got a huge chip on their shoulder because of what happened last year. They're very focused. You could see that in their first game the other day. So. Uh, we're going to be challenged, uh, but playing games like this, yeah, it does get you ready for conference play, which is in the end what really matters. I think their players and our players both know what it means to the fans around here. Um, obviously, by the, all the media today, it's obviously a big game. So, um, you know, our, our guys get it. Yeah, they're all big. Every game counts as one, but this for just, you know, just being local means a lot. As a team, we collectively felt like we played, you know, selfishly, and we, we know that we're an unselfish team. So um, going into this game, uh, we just know that, you know, we got to bring in, you know, everything that we worked hard for. We know that we are a, a very unselfish team. So um, I think that's one of the biggest things that we need to, you know, fix right now. Uh, I think a game like this will definitely, you know, allow us to know, like, where we are right now. I know we're a young team, you know, we're, we're new, but, you know, like, we're, we're talented as well. So. You know, if we come in and do the right things and play together, like I said, I think that, you know, this game will, will, will do a lot for us. Being that it's only Maryland's second official game, Coach Turgeon is still trying out different lineups to find that team rhythm. Similar to American University, Georgetown runs a Princeton system. The Hoyas returned junior guard LJ Peak, their second leading scorer, who shot close to 50% from the field. And added into this mix this year is graduate transfer Rodney Pryor, who scored 32 points Saturday in their home opener. Pryor connected six threes while shooting an impressive 13 for 16 from the floor. This was the most points by a Hoya in their first game in program history. This is Maryland and Georgetown's second meeting in over 20 years. Because of the school's proximity, their recruiting footprints overlap, so the guys do know one another from high school and AAU. Anthony Cowan was actually a ball boy for Georgetown when he was younger. If you won't be at the Verizon Center for the 6.30 p.m. tip-off, you can catch it on Fox Sports 1. Don't forget to follow us on all social media to stay up to date with Maryland basketball. For Terrapin Hoops, I'm Claudia Pagan.